this video, let's take a look at serial decoding. Um, so for this one, I'm going to just use a UART signal. Um, makes it a little easy uh, to uh, set up. To do this, you, you have a couple different options. Of course, you can go under the menu um, and go into serial there. But I like the protocol key right here. So I'll go ahead and turn on protocol, and it pops open the menu automatically for me. Um, you can have up to four buses on the RTM 3000. Um, and within each of those, you can have a number of different um, serial decode options. So spy with no chip select, spy with chip select, I squared C, UART, CAN, LIN, audio. Um, so that's I2S, airing 429, mil standard 1553, etc. So for this one, I'm doing a UART. So I'll go ahead and select my UART bus. Then we're going to go into the configuration. And the configuration, we try to make it as um, visual as possible. And one of the first things that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to say, what channel am I decoding? And so for this one, we're doing channel one. But if you had this on the digital channels or if you had this on another analog channel, you would want to make sure that you set that up right off the bat. Um, and that's going to be true for any of the serial buses. Next, I really like this fine threshold. And so the fine threshold is going to go through and it's going to find the midpoint of the um, signal and automatically set the decode thresholds for us so we know what a one and a zero is. Um, that's really nice. For most of the serial buses, you're going to have similar options, right? So you can have something like a parity, um, stop bits, a bit rate. Um, it's going to vary by the different serial bus standards, but you're all they're all going to have something that you have to configure. Um, for this one, it's a uh, standard 115.2 kilobit per second bit rate. So we'll go ahead and turn that on. Um, it's a 8-bit uh, data size. Um, so you have a lot of flexibility in what you can adjust there. Next, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the decode. And when I turn the decode on, I'm going to shut the window there so you can see the decode here on the display now. And there's a couple of cool things about the decode for the RTM 3000. You can actually take this and you can move it on the display. Um, I like to have it out of the waveform. Some people like to have it sitting on top of the waveform. If you want it to be a little bit bigger, you'll notice that our rings are highlighted in white right now. That's the protocol color. Um, we can adjust the color, or sorry, the size of the um, uh, decode that's being shown on the display, which I think is really nice. Now, if we come back into that menu, uh, a couple of next, a couple other things that you'll notice. I'm going to go ahead and jump trigger, and I'll come to the, to the display setup really quick. And for the display setup right now, we're decoding in hexadecimal. Um, I'm going to change this one to ASCII, and ASCII allows us to see that we actually have a message that's being sent across there. Um, it's saying tune to 815 megahertz, 825, 835, and it's bouncing back and forth between there. Um, again, you have lots of different options on how you would um, decode and what you want that to be displayed in. Um, the other thing that's really nice is this bits button right here. And this bits button is we're basically showing you exactly what we are decoding. So this is a really easy way to see if you have your threshold set in correctly, um, to see if there's a, uh, a difference between what is being shown on the analog waveform or on the digital waveform that you're capturing and the way that we're decoding it. And so you can see that decoded bits down below. If you don't like that, you can turn that off here and not have the bits then. Um, if I go back, the next thing that I'll talk about really quick is the trigger. Um, so one of the nice things is, is we make the, the trigger protocol aware. And uh, by making the trigger protocol aware, you can come in and you can say, you know, I want to trigger on a start bit, a frame start, um, a stop bit. And again, these are going to be specific to the serial protocol that you're working with. Um, you can even trigger on, say, a pattern um, if you're doing something like I squared C um, address, those types of things. Um, if we go back and out of the trigger menu, um, the last thing that I'll mention is this bus table. And so the bus table is really nice. It'll basically give you all of the decoded information um, shown in this table down below. Um, right now, we only have one frame being shown, but if I put a bunch more frames on the display, you would see all of those frames being decoded down below. Um, you can save off that table. Um, I kind of think of this as a 50,000 foot view. So if this is the um, you know ground level view of the information that's happening. This is the 50,000 foot view um, of everything that's going across the link. 